Hey guys, Bridge here. In this video, we're going to create uh, this homepage from scratch uh, using Figma. Now, I recently launched uh, an entire Figma course. So if you're interested in learning more about Figma, feel free to check it out in the link in the description. But now without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create uh, a frame right here on the top, which uh, is going to be the desktop frame, 1440 pixels of width, since uh, that works well for a desktop and we're going to double click with the left mouse button and just rename this uh, to home and uh, let's uh, deselect uh, and uh, let's just uh, right here rename the project to website uh, just so that we can have it uh, um, updated so as we are creating this uh, the very we're going to start from the very top uh, so from the header so i'm going to use the text tool in order to write uh, uh, the logo which uh, is going to be called supreme in this case and uh, what we're gonna do next is we're going to make it bold and uh, we're going to keep uh, this uh, font which is a free google web font called roboto if you don't have it installed in your system simply um, google roboto font and you're going to find it uh, right away available for free it's uh, very lightweight so you're going to have access in no time now let's write uh, some uh, menu items and i'm going to switch it to 18 maybe and uh, let's use shift plus the option key in order to uh, basically be able to drag and duplicate this element right away we're going to use command plus d just a few times in order to change uh, and um, create the different uh, um, duplicates of this uh, in the same horizontal fashion so we're going to write here the different uh, um, elements for the menu and we want these to be equally distant from one another so what we're going to do is we're going to use this distribute horizontal spacing feature we're going to bring it right here i'm also going to duplicate this one more time and write login and uh, this is going to serve us uh, as uh, the main uh, call to action so i'm going to use the rectangle tool right here create a, a brief rectangle and uh, i'm going to essentially um, use uh, this uh, as the main uh, call to action so i'm going to switch the color to be a black and we're going to essentially um, make uh, the text white so we have uh, our uh, call to action right here i'm probably going to <clears throat> go with the black version for the font of the logo so it's because i really want the, this logo to have uh, quite a bit of contrast if you wish so that's uh, something that uh, we definitely want and now let's duplicate this uh, make it a little bit bigger we're going to create the headline so we're going to revolution if i can spell <laughs> and uh, we're going to essentially have this uh, as our main uh, heading all right let's make it even something around these lines and uh, here we go let's uh, duplicate this i'm going to use uh, a lower mipsum which i basically uh, have installed in this uh, cool little software called atex which essentially enables you to have uh, keyboard shortcuts associated to uh, whatever um, text you enter so it's atex again and uh, it's uh, something which is not in figma um, it's uh, an actual uh, separated software so just a heads up on that and how we managed to create this lorem ipsum in, in a super fast way another way that you can create the lorem ipsum uh, easily just using the content real plugin and uh, that essentially allows you to um, find uh, and uh, how to generate lorem ipsum text uh, um, really fast and natively inside of figma now let's go over here and uh, let's write get started so this is going to be and what we're going to do is uh we're actually going to select uh, these two elements and basically bring uh, this uh, right here 
Um, potentially, we could make this another layout, no problem, but I'll just keep it like this uh, for the time being. And uh, yeah, that's just... Uh, but if you're actually working on, on a real project, I would personally recommend you to just use the out layout uh, feature whenever you can really. So even for like these buttons, um, it's just something that which is not necessary since we're, this is an isolated case, which we're going to work on uh, pretty fast. So it's not really um, essential, I, I would say, but good practice is to use the, the out layout whenever you can. So, Let's make this one lowercase and uh, I'm also going to write uh, a call to action to scroll down. Let's just bring this one here. I'm going to use uh, a arrow and uh, this is Nucleo Icons, which uh, is a free icon management uh, software, which allows you to, as you can see, uh, browse through a library of icons and uh, just drag and drop them directly into your Figma document. So really, really useful and handy. Let's make it just a little bit smaller. And I think we're pretty much set with uh, the basic uh, um, features of uh, this. I'm probably going to make this one uh, medium instead of bold. And uh, now we're going to leverage uh, this really cool startup illustration kit, uh, uh, which I found on uh, UI8, which is called Starty. So we're going to bring, uh, uh, there's tons of really cool illustrations, but I'm probably going to use the meditation one from this app. Oops, have to basically copy and I can go in the other file and paste it. And as you can see, uh, you can easily copy between uh, files in Figma, no problem whatsoever. So let's let's make this uh, quite big uh, and prominent since uh, I really like this uh, uh, this feeling. And um, yeah, I think we're we're definitely uh, heading in the right direction here, and uh, it's looking uh, pretty good. Now, on top of that, uh, another thing that we're going to do is uh, we're essentially going to have a section here. So let's make it uh, even bigger where we're going to have uh, some uh, sort of uh, trust and testimonial section uh, just before we wrap up uh, this uh, uh, design, which uh, feel free to continue. Um, also, after a video, you can uh, add more elements to, to this homepage design or even better, uh, a really cool exercise and really useful exercise really is to create variations of the same design. So trying to try to communicate the same concepts uh, and uh, the same uh, core structural elements uh, in a different way. And um, yeah, just creating different variations since uh, that's actually something which uh, you're going to do quite a bit uh, as a designer. So it's definitely uh, useful to get used to actually doing these type of things. So I'm going to copy and paste some logos, which uh, I found on the internet. As I'm sure you're all familiar with uh, at least uh, uh, most of these companies. And uh, let's go and let's create uh, another um, text element. So I'm going to make this one smaller. And I'm going to change the text to featured in. Let's make this one from light to bold, or actually just medium. And let's make it just a little bit smaller. Let's bring it in the center, bring it right here and over here. And I think we are pretty much set for the very most part. So really hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, uh, tutorial. And I want to remind you that, there, uh, that on my channel, I have over 500 videos uh, on uh, both UI UX design and also a lot of Figma tutorials, also an entire course uh, for free, which uh, essentially guides you through all of the basics uh, of how to use Figma efficiently 
And uh, if you're interested in learning more about that, uh, feel free to let me know. And uh, or actually just check the channel. But uh, if you have any questions, feel free to DM me and uh, uh, either on YouTube or on Instagram, even better. And uh, I'll try my best to get back to you uh, as soon as I can. So hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.